Hey guys, this is PG Bootstraps, and welcome back to another Unity RPG tutorial. Like I said last time, I'm going to show you how to make a battle system. So this is part one on making a battle system so we can fight our enemy. So first, we're going to make an empty object and make sure it's attached to the following enemy. We'll just call it Trigger Battle. We're going to add a script to it, and we'll call it Trigger Battle. Sharp. Let's edit the script. I'm just going to paste in this code right here. I'll explain to you guys what it does. Okay, so now that we got that pasted there, I'll explain to you this. So this is a public stream scene to load. So void on trigger enter 2D. If we, if the enemy will cl collides with this player, then destroy game object dot find enemy. So the enemy will be destroyed. So when we go back to the, uh, so when we go back to the game scene, he won't be there anymore because we've already in the battle with him. And then load battle screen, and that void right here, the function, game controller. Remember in the last tutorial when we added the bool in battle. This is when this is why we're using it. This is why we added it. Game controller dot control in battle equals true. Destroy game object enemy. This equals true, and this loads the battle. So we're going to make a scene. We'll call it... Here, I'm going to go to scenes here. We'll call it battle. Whoop, not a, whoops, not a C-sharp script. My bad. All right, create. Two hours later. Oh, it was right there the whole time. We'll call it battle. Now, if we go to this game object right here. Well, whoops, let's add. I don't know why that's not there. There we go. Trigger battle. Scene to load. So we will choose a scene that will load when the enemy touches us. So we'll choose battle. And let's remove this. And let's test it out. Okay, my bad, I forgot to add a box collider. <laughs> Check his trigger, and now let's choose the size of it. So if, it's, if he's at a certain distance, then the battle will load. So we'll just, we'll just keep it like this. So let's play it, we'll test it out. Sorry guys, we actually gotta add a circle collider 2D, not a box collider. Check is trigger. That looks about a good size. I realize this object is named following enemy. But we're actually gonna rename this to enemy. Whoopsie. We'll call this uh, enemy follow. That also means we need to get rid of this following on the game controller. So I finally figured it out. For some reason it wasn't working, but I got it down. So what I had to do was get rid of this. So just get rid of this completely and just have this. It already stores the game object here. I don't know what I was thinking, this being here. This stuff is fine. We can just leave it here. We might need to use it later, but for now we're just gonna not include the load battle screen. We'll just have this. So this will load the scene. So I'll show you. And now watch. Boom. Loads the battle scene. Perfect. So, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to go more in depth on the battle system and show you guys the next part of it. Please subscribe, comment on this video if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.